And we back. Let's take a look at Amari Cooper, a.k.a. Toe Tap Tommy. Um, we have a handful of plays. One, two, three, four. I wanted to show y'all in particular. Yes, three of them are toe taps. <laughs> but we got to do what we got to do, man. Last week, I made the bold proclamation. Not really that bold. That Amari Cooper was the best running back in the league. But I think he's top five, man. I think he's top five. It, it's just that, that that first round pick investment just, just keeps paying off, man. And him and Dak Prescott are the only bright spots I can take away from this game um, from last Sunday. They need to get paid tomorrow. All right, let's kind of run it. Let's run it and see what happens here. Amari Cooper is down bottom. Okay, he's a receiver at the bottom of your screen. Let's take a look at him. Then I'm going to bring it back and talk about his route running, how he set himself up, and how he got so damn open. Oh, my God, what are you doing? What is this cornerback doing? Getting his ass uppercut, spun round, and kung loud. What is he? What's going on here? Get up. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Amari Cooper, man. Okay, so we know that he's running a stop route, and stop routes come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Sometimes they're comebacks to the outside. Sometimes they're curls to the inside. We see here that Amari Cooper's break was to the inside, okay? So if Amari Cooper is working um, to end on the inside, then he needs to work. Yes, yes, he needs to work outside. All right, cool. Good job, y'all. So... Let's run this. <clears throat> we see Coop. He's going to work his way outside. I like how he starts this thing off just getting upfield neutrally, right? Just a little neutral few steps up the field. Just kind of, you know, I could be slanting right here. You don't know. I could be running a 10-yard out or a hitch right here. You don't know. Um, so we're going to keep it neutral on the first few steps. Ah, then we're going to get a little cut to the outside. What I like about that is when Coop does something, you kind of got to believe him. Because one day, Coop may not be faking you out, and he'll just be running upfield. And next thing you know, he running past your as why you think he's faking you he's done that before but he's gonna get his little get his little cut to the outside and you're gonna see the cornerback's hips go through three three phases here the cornerback's hips are gonna go from neutral facing coop they're gonna open up facing uh facing the sideline and then his ass is gonna bail because he's afraid of what Cooper could do. <laughs> now his hips are facing the end zone, and that's what Cooper really wants. So once we get him facing that direction, Cooper's going to break this thing down. Look at how low he gets to the ground, man. Look at that bend right there. That that calls for Coop to explode in whatever direction he wants to explode. If he wants to go outside, he got it. If he wants to go inside, he got it. If he wants to stop and curl this thing off, he got it because... Um, he stopped on a dime right here, and this route looks like the the opening or the beginning of you know many other routes. But he's just simply going to turn this thing back, and the ball is in travel right now, and the cornerback is trying to recover uh, from this super effective uh, uh, flamethrower move that that Coop just put on him. It's all good though. Let's take a look at this play, <clears throat> and I just want to say this too that you know I know I'm giving Coop a lot of praise though but it takes two sides to do this it takes two it takes it takes Coop to pull off the the route running and the great catches or whatever but it also takes Dak to be fantastic with these uh with these throws here as well so we got Coop at the top of your screen there let's just take a look at him I'll take a look at him then we'll bring him back and we'll uh break this thing down a little bit he's gonna get up field da -da -da, boom boom inside just to work back outside and we got toe tap Tommy dang come on man Come on, my guy. And, you know, we're going to look at the uh, at the uh, cartel view to get a real good, uh, real good look at that to get a, you know, to get a real idea of um, of uh, what that uh, what that toe tap was like. But, <clears throat> hey, man, cool. Same idea. If we're going to end up outside, then we need to work our leverage back. Yes, we need to work it inside so that we can get back outside, correct? Watch this. Cooper's going to get up field. Um, I like how he's starting to the uh, to the cornerback's outside shoulder, right? Why is he starting to the cornerback's outside shoulder? Because at the end of the stem, he needs to work inside to get back outside, right? So he's working outside, outside, outside just to get this cornerback turned this way to get back inside like he does here, right? But... When Coop work inside, you kind of got to believe him, and his cornerback is just going to go for a little ride here, Six Flags-like. <laughs> I would hate to be chasing Cooper, man. I would hate to be chasing him. First of all, he's 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 quicker than you, and he's faster than you, plus he has a plan about how he's going to set you up, and you have no idea where he's going. This got to be one of the hardest jobs in the league, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, working outside just to work his inside back out, and there's that, there's that breakdown right there. There's that that bend of the knees just to, just so Coop can get back outside and create a little bit of space. And I would love for everybody to go out in their backyard right now, grab a friend, and I want you to tell your friend, 
to 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 run to run towards your fence okay to run towards the fence and just i want you to throw the football right before they hit the fence and just with a little bit of space left I want you to throw that football and not have your friend run through the damn fence and not throw the ball over the fence. That's the hard part. That's the hard part about these sideline catches. Dak has got to get the ball not so inside that it hits the cornerback or the or the uh, cornerback can catch it, but not so outside that it goes out of bounds. This is right on Coop. This is right on Amari Cooper. This ain't like the ball way out of bounds. The Coop got to do something amazing and fantastic to get it, bring it back in, and then toe tap. It's right there. Stop sleeping on Dak Prescott, man. And definitely stop sleeping on Amari Cooper, a.k.a. Toe Tap Tommy right here. My goodness. Next play. Let's take a look at this play. Let me move this out the way. Um, Zeke is going to be in the slot. Zeke is going to uh, end up in the backfield. So now Coop is the inside man. It's not the slot, but he's he is the inside man. Take a look at this play, man. If you're going to give us this much room to operate, what you think Coop going to do, man? <laughs> if, you, if you're going to give Amari Cooper all this space to operate, what you think he going to do? At this point right here, now you have this cornerback here, this defender. You have him on the island, so to speak. You, you have him on the island outnumbered. We have the numbers here, the number advantage. Um, so this cornerback is either going to play up on Gallup or he's going to play back on Cooper. You know what I mean? Uh, and of course he played up on Gallup. He took that little cheese or whatever, just so we could throw the ball over the top and hit Cooper here. And we got another toe tap Tommy. Look at that, man. I, I thought we was doing it on purpose. We was doing it so much in the game. We was doing it so efficiently. I thought we was I thought we was calling plays to the sideline just so we could toe tap and, and just so we can talk crazy and brag the next day, just to do it on film the next day. Look at this, man. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. And that's why watching films, film is so important. Like, I had no idea this was a look that we ran with. What the hell happened right here? We had Zeke at quarterback, Tony. <laughs> just technically at fullback here. Technically. And uh, Gallup is at running back, man. I was like, what? what? I was like, why? I didn't see this in the game. When did this look happen? I don't remember this. <laughs> I need to screenshot this later or something just so I can put it up on Twitter and ask how many, uh, how many, People remember us, you know, lining up in this formation. Now, I'm showing this cartel view, by the way, but it's going to, you know, it's going to, you know, formation shift. Uh, just kind of get a little bit of movement. We ended up here. This makes a little more sense, but I just wanted to show this first because I had no clue that we did this. And that's why I watch the film is so important. That's why I, I don't listen to people that only watch the game one time. Anyway, Cooper's down bottom. Let me move this thing up a little bit. Let me give y'all a little more space. Let me get let me get my remote out the way. Uh, we got Amari Cooper down bottom at your screen, man. And we just gonna show y'all one more active magic, man. Just one more active magic. Tony's gonna be your jet sweep guy. And Coop, very interesting, you know, how this how this how this play played out because Coop just kind of got to feel with a little bit of patience. You know, I know that we're gonna um, you know, we're gonna fake the jet and you know, we're gonna sprint out, do some stuff. You know, Zeke may have been a, a primary read there, but look at how look at how how lax Coop is getting up feel here. He's just getting up feel. I don't even know if Coop was a main read there, but what I think happened, man, once Coop realized he had some leverage and he had a little bit of space in this end zone here, I think Coop just broke away from him and just gave Dak a shot there. And um, <laughs> what are we doing? Stop it! I think Coop, uh, Coop, Coop just realized that we had a little bit of space. I don't know if 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 he was even in the in the cards to get the ball there but this this seems like an improv play i could be wrong i would love to ask uh ask somebody on the staff i would love to ask uh i would love to ask kellen but it just looks this just looks looks like a very improv play here and uh it works out man i wish that we would put more faith in Dak. <clears throat> 
you know, uh, not not us as a fan base or um, us as a YouTube fan base because there is the eighty percent, then there is the twenty percent. But um, the coaches, you know, I think I think they they took the took the ball out of out of Dak Prescott's hand because I don't think they trust him. I don't think that they that they uh, trust him there. But I would love for them to have a conversation with Young Rain Dakota Prescott. I would love for us to get to the bottom of this and and you know see if we can find some common ground in this thing, man, because. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind that if we continue to let Dak lead this thing, that we would have been led to the, to the, uh, to the uh, promised land. You know, now uh, was it a cop out? You know what? You now, in terms of play calling, because people like to say I don't blame the coaches for anything. This is a good reason for me to blame coaches. Um, was it a cop out uh, from Kellen Moore because he felt like uh, you know he didn't have the the perfect play to call it that down and distance, so he just decided to to run the ball, hoping that he can get a first down, giving him, giving himself a little more room to work, with, giving himself a little more room to work with to run another play. It may be the case. I don't know, but. That's what we got, man. We got an L. There's no, there's no need to cry about it. There's no need to panic about it. Um, we just got to move on and, um, you know, beat the hell out of Detroit when it's time to go play them. All right, Coop is fantastic. Dak is fantastic. Uh, the next film session, I'm gonna break down the plays that pissed y'all off. I'm gonna show the uh, the run plays at the end of the drive and and that uh, punt return that y'all seem to be so angry about. But hit the um, like button, subscribe button, notification button so you know when I drop these random film sessions. Don't forget about my Patreon, patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. The link is in the description. Everything y'all need is down up in there, so go check that out. Uh, I'm trying to get more active on Discord. That link is also down there, so give that a shot. All right? Uh, one more film session for the week. Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, the Peace, your whiskey is free, man. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channels for cheap where you can get a free seven day trial that's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it then come back and make a purchase because if you have any questions go to channelsforcheap.com hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately that is channels number four cheap.com the link is in the description i highly recommend it let's do it